This video is dedicated to the main valve internals. Despite of the type, all valves have the same set of common parts. Actuator, stem, packing, bonnet, body, disc and seat. Now let's talk about them in more detail. The valve body is the vessel or casing that holds the fluid passing through the inside of the valve. The valve bodies are most commonly made of various metals or plastics. It should be designed in a way to resist the fluid pressure loads from connecting pipework and be able to receive inlet and outlet piping in an appropriate manner. Valve bodies can come in a number of different shapes, ranging from simple blocks to highly complex forms. The cover for the opening in the valve body is the bonnet and is considered to be the second most essential boundary of a pressure valve. Similar to valve bodies, bonnets are in a variety of designs and models available. A bonnet serves as a cover in the valve body. Customarily, it's linked to the body by welded, threaded or bolted joint. The inner constituents of valves such as disc, stem and etc. are put into the valve body and then the bonnet is attached to hold all parts together inside. To access internal parts of a valve, a user would take off the bonnet, usually for maintenance. Valves are usually supplied with an actual an actuator is an apparatus that produces rotary or linear motion of a source of power under the action of a source control. Some valves have neither handle nor actuator because they automatically control themselves from inside, for example check valves and relief valves. This particular accessory can operate the valve either by pressing of a button or automatically through process systems. The decision for actuating a valve will be made due to one or more of the following reasons. Control of process system, inaccessibility or remote valve location, emergency shutdown or failsafe requirements, excessive valve operating torque, and safety. The disc is the component that allows throttles or stops the flow, depending on its position. The disc is the third most significant primary pressure boundary and they are usually forged and in some designs hard surface to provide good wear properties. Majority of valves are named in accordance with their disc design. The seat or seal rings ensure the seating surface for the disc. A valve may have one or more seats. There are various forms of sealing rings and they can be made of the similar material as the valve body or even softer material. The most problematic part of the valves is their seats, because of the leakages, as discs may not sit tightly or valves may not be tightly closed. The valve stem furnishes required movement to the ball, plug or the disc for opening or closing the valve and is responsible for proper positioning of the disc. It's linked to the valve hand wheel, actuator or the lever at one end and on the other side to the valve disc. In plug, butterfly and ball valves, the disc is rotated to open or close the valve. Meanwhile, in gate or globe valves, linear motion of the disc is required to open or close it. Stems are often forged and linked to the disc by threaded or other methods. Here we end the main valve internal session. But to learn more on this and relevant topics, you can get into our website and enroll in our practical training courses.